Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday, depending on when I can get them out for you guys. And today we're gonna be doing a really quick and easy breakfast meal. I did tell you guys, or I showed you guys in another video that I got an accessory kit um, for my air fryer. So I'm gonna be using this pan today and we're going to be making just a really quick, easy, um, bacon and cheese omelet in here and I'm gonna bring you guys closer and I'll show you how uh, to get started and all the ingredients that you need and then the temp for your air fryer I did list it all below if you guys want to go ahead and look at that we're gonna get started and you need two eggs Okay, so two eggs, put some salt and pepper, and then one fourth cup milk. Whisk together. Spray your pan. And then put your pan inside your air fryer. Set it for 350 and go down to go down to four minutes. We're gonna come back, put cheese and bacon on top, and then cook it for another four minutes, and then we'll see how it turned out. Go ahead and put your cheese and your bacon on top. And now cook it for another four minutes. If it's not cooked all the way through in them four minutes, you can add another minute or two onto that. Cooking time is up. I did end up cooking it for another uh, minute and this is what it turned out to look like. All right, so here you go. Um, make sure you guys pay attention to your cook time all together. I cooked it for nine minutes and I had to cook it for just that extra one minute. Usually it's cooking time is like eight minutes, but just open up your air fryer, check it. And if it needs to cook a little bit longer, then cook it a little bit longer. Um, and if you're going to add anything else besides the, the cheese and the bacon, um, you might wanna add it when you first initially put your eggs in, just so that um, it cooks longer or if you want to saute like your onions and your vegetables in a in maybe like a frying pan first and then add it in the halfway part to uh, the cooking time so you would just cook it four minutes and then add the sauteed stuff if you want to do it that way or if you just want to experiment just add it right away it all depends on what you're adding but don't add like the cheese and stuff to it right away just because the cook time with it will just end up burning everything but other than that, this was pretty easy to do. So if you guys liked today's video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.